Oh, one of the biggest fields of the week now then for the Tercentenary Stakes, which is a 0 to 120 three year olds and upwards 10 furlong handicap in S07 language. And let's take a look at the field. It should be a pretty competitive race. There's one Hadar at the top for Darren Thompson, Coachman Joshua Sutherland, Namwa Jobo Destraval, David Robertson, Elderberry Symphony, Dan Hughes, Cash Track, David Robertson, Court Humour, Leon Van Rensburg, Enterprise. Paul Rhodes, Golden 60, Dan Hughes, the Beast Monster, Paul Derek Hinton, Hurricane Hero, and Jules for Munas, Lagrange for Leon Van Rensburg, Speed of Light for Derek Hinton, Green Tonic, Craig Beckwith, Sarah Ballantyne, Padraig Hogan, Higher Purpose, Joshua Sutherland, Blushing Groom, Martin Leadham, Cregan for Padraig Hogan, and Just Move for Craig Beckwith. All installed, then 19 of them away and racing, and this could be one of the most competitive handicaps of the week. Who's going to be the first one to get out into the lead? One of the Leon horses over on the far side is pulling for its head, but the other one is the one that's going to get the lead. Court humour, and that one is really tacking over now, really putting a lot of effort in to get across to the fence. Uh, good manoeuvre there. Well, the jockey on that one hasn't taken too much out of it, and it's Court Humour who's got the fence and has got the lead. From Hadamar and Golden 60, then Coachman is after that. Some of them are quite wide on the track. They're going to need to try and get in. That Dan Hughes horse over there is really wide. Well. That's Elderberry Symphony. That one's going to lose a lot of ground on the turns. But it's Court Humour that's got the lead. From Golden 60 in second, then Hurricane Hero down on his near side is in third. Then after that one comes Cash Track. Lagrange is close up. So to his speed of light, Jules and Hadamar also there as well. The Grey Elderberry Symphony still running wide on the track. Green Tonic is trying to get going as well. Looking towards the back, Cregan and the Beast Monster on the back too. With Enterprise just in front of them. But it's Court Hero who leads in four and a half to go in the Tercentenary. And Lagrange has now moved through into second. Jules has now come through with a strong looking challenge as well. And it's Court Hero who's in front. Jules is in second. Golden 60 is in third. Then Speed of Light and Lagrange. Green Tonic after that. Cash Track next. Then comes Hadamard. Just moved. Coachman is trying to get into it. One or two of these haven't got into it at all. Now with Jobo, Destreval and Blushing Groom are right out the back. But it's Court Humour who's got the lead from Jules in second, Golden 60, then Speed of Light and Cash Track, Lagrange just move, he's trying to get into it, Coachman's trying to run on, but it's Court Humour who's still in the lead, Court Humour's still in front but now they're coming to challenge, Speed of Light and Cash Track, Golden 60, Green Tonic, Jules is still there as well, so he's just moved, Cregan's trying to run on the outside inside the final furlong, and Court Humour is hanging onto the lead from Golden 60 Court Humour in front, here comes Golden 60 now, now with a renewed effort, and Golden 60 bursts into the lead from Cash Track and Golden 60 is going to take it just from Cash Track second. Then Green Sonic, Jules and Krieger and the Beast Monster and Just Move and Hurricane Hero after that. And all the way back to Sarah Ballantyne. It was the last one to finish. And it's Golden 60 for Dan Hughes. He won't be quite so concerned about his other one being stuck out wide. Now that one's won. So Golden 60 takes it for Dan Hughes. Cash Track second for David Robertson. Green Tonic for Greg Beckwith was third. And Jules for Munas was fourth and Lagrange for Leon Van Rensburg was fifth.